Welcome to a brand new prompt news video. Today we're going to be doing the first of our Dali 2 series and I'm going to be showing you a brand new feature within Dali called out painting. And if you've been living under a rock you may have not noticed that Dali 2 is now open to the general public which means you do not need an invite anymore. You can sign in and just register for an account and get started using Dali 2 for free. So Dali 2 gives you 50 free credits for your first month when you get started and after that it costs it costs $15 for 115 credits and 115 credits equates to 460 images. I think Dali 2 probably has the most simplistic and intuitive interface. I feel like the data set was definitely trained on stock images. So the Outpaint feature is really cool. It allows you to imagine we oui. it allows you to imagine what outside the boundary of an image would look like using artificial intelligence you can also direct the imagery outside the boundary of the image using prompts for me i've been using it for when i create images in mid journey and they're perfect apart from they've cropped the outside areas off or half a face or a nose or whatever and then i can bring it into dali 2 out painting and then reimagine the outside of the image you can also increase the aspect ratio of the image giving you wallpaper or portrait style. I'm really excited to bring you this video today because I think it's such a cool feature and obviously it's going to be developed on within the future. Just log in or sign up for an account absolutely free. I'm going to be using my brother's account today thank you. So this is the introduction screen which you see where you can generate your prompt from here. We're not going to be using this prompt section today or we're going to be heading over to the out painting section. So you see this new button try out painting open editor. So if we quickly look at the interface there's not much to look at. I'm just going to close this window down letting us know about the beta version. All our tool sets are here. You've got five tools. You pan button, an eraser tool and add generation frames so you can add sections onto your image and then we have an upload image where you will upload your image that you want to add onto. So this is our generation frame. By default, it's 1024 by 1024. So I'm going to take a picture of this room and we can use AI to imagine what is in this area and this area. Only I know the secrets of this room. But AI can use its imagination and with the help of prompting, we can sort of steer it into a direction. So I'm going to click on the upload image to upload the photograph that I took with my camera and then place that anywhere in the canvas and once I'm happy press the tick button to place or delete and then start again and upload another image. So I'm just going to place that there in the canvas. You can move the generation frame around your image so let's say I wanted to know what's over here. It will use this big square here and reimagine with AI what this area looks like. The same for going from the side or down there or up there. Let's reimagine what's over on this side over here. Um, I'm not actually going to tell you because it's a secret and it will remain with me. It's office room and we'll see what it will generate. I'll bring it bring it slightly in. It's going to be pulling the information from the photo, then using an algorithm to determine what suits the imagery best. I'm going to click generate here on the prompt and then a blue bar will appear at the bottom of this generation box and once it's gone across that means your image it will complete. It takes a few seconds, it doesn't take long at all. Okay so <laughs> That's apparently what this room looks like behind me, uh, according to the algorithm. And you see on this toolbar down here, you've got cancel and accept, so you can cancel the generation and restart it if you're not happy with the options it gives you. It gives you four generations at the bottom here, and you just use the arrow here to toggle through the options. This is this is quite cool. That could be could be the area. There's a. Uh, the person who edits these videos rather badly in the background and I've got a nice laptop and uh, somebody's desk over there uh, a really big arm with a hairband on I don't actually have any hairbands on but a uh, good try good try and um, I like this it looks like I'm working in some sort of corporate environment not my home so we're going to click accept and then we're going to move the generation frame over here to see what's on my desk or what what uh, Dali 2 thinks is on my desk. So let's generate that image. 
and you can see here it's generated the top of my hair as well it's not a perfect program and it's not going to give you exactly what you want every time but it's really cool for again concepting and then using to overpaint in other pieces of software it's got my monitor in it's finished to the edge of my ipad which is cool it's put a window in front of me here and then if i skip through the options i've got some drafting paper here excellent we've got a bigger desk there's my receptionist there I quite like that one that seems to fit the theme nicely so you will get errors like this blue bar here but what you can do is use this eraser tool and just erase anything you don't feel works in the image very well and then regenerate again and there you go I've got several more options because I erased those sections that I didn't like so it's just, it's giving me some alternative options there now it's not a perfect tool but it's really powerful and it shows you what we'll be getting in the future and what's frustrating is that you do have to use a lot of credit another cool thing that we can do we don't have to use the out painter section by section we can import an image that has transparency around it and let Dali to reimagine the, the entire area to show you how I do that I'm going to open that mid journey image up in Photoshop you can use GIMP MS Paint any program that you can rescale an image in and I'm just going to right click on the image window at the top on the top bar and canvas size change that to pixels I'm gonna make it the same canvas size as in Dali so it's 1024 by 1024 pixels so that gives me an outside area. I'm going to switch the background off or delete that completely. It doesn't matter. All you want is the transparent area around the edge. So this is a bit of a cheating way to be able to get more credits for your buck. So I'm going to scale it down slightly into the middle. It doesn't have to be too accurate. And so now when I import this image back into Dali, I can run one generation frame over the top of it because the generation frame is 1024 by 1024. If you wanted a higher res image, I wouldn't suggest doing this. I would suggest just adding the pieces on so it would increase the size of your image. But if you're like me and borrowing somebody else's account, this might be a better way of saving credits. So I'm gonna save that image back as a PNG with transparency and then we want to load that same image that we just created in Photoshop with the transparency around the edge. I've shrunk the image so it's within the 1024 by 1024 frame. I will allow Dali to now reimagine the entire background of this cat. So let's place that guy there. Let's put cute cat in science lab and generate so this might actually save you on credits rather than do section by section that can be really costly there you go that is a pretty sweet image now and it looks like it all fits in the cat is nicely blended into the background and again it will give me the four options that I could use that looks really cool and would work really well as a wallpaper you can then let's uh, let's see what my favorite is that's cute I think oh. that's cute I'm gonna go except on that one you can add a generation on the frame to extend the resolution on the image so if you wanted to make a wallpaper and then you can edit the prompt further so cute cat in science lab so if i press generate on that it might create me an extra cat so i just put science lab and generate and what it will do is blend the seams of the generation frame to the image that's already created and calculate what would work best in that area. That's giving me just a, a blank wall, um, some sort of science lab experiment. That looks really cool. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Sometimes these generations can be a bit funky and you're paying for them, which is slightly annoying, but there you go. I think that looks quite cute. Or you could go simple and not really have anything there. Well, that that works quite well um, we can accept that so let's say you don't like these beakers here again you can use this eraser tool and just erase the areas you do not like in the image so I'm just gonna take that bad boy out 
and then use the generation frame and regenerate. So it's keeping this beaker that was in the last generation and then regenerating the area that I rubbed out with something that should work a bit better. So you can do this with any areas of the image. And I think that eraser tool is really, really powerful, but again, you're using your credits just to fix things. And yeah, that's the annoyance that these things aren't free, but you know, this is people are working hard on getting these tools out and a beautiful interface. So we can have to pay for their work somehow. You can use the arrows to go across and sometimes Dali 2 really, really, really wants to put text in and it never comes out nice. Well, not yet anyway. So it just will randomly plonk some text in. Just give me some options. I actually just like the simplistic blue there, uh, except it got a really cute image and and then you just click download here and that will download the image to your downloads folder you can then take it into photoshop or if you don't need to for instance this image is quite good i can just generate the other side and then i've got desktop wallpaper if you ever want to return back to your images all your images are saved in my collection on the Dali 2 website so you can go back to them and I hope as always this video has helped you actually it was the second time I filmed this video the first time I filmed it I had the flu I rewatched it and I was not making any sense at all I was completely delirious so <laughs> for any reason if anybody wants a scared cat sitting in a laboratory feel free to download this wallpaper from my website which is promptmuse.com Again, I'd like to say thank you very much for my brother for sponsoring this video and uh, when he sees my face in his collection and um, how many credits I've used, he's probably going to kill me. So hopefully this isn't my last video. But thanks very much again. Until next time, that will do it. Bye-bye.